Hello guys, how's it going? I decided to make this tutorial about uh, modeling the Simpsons house. As you see here, the final result. Um, probably each tutorial is going to be about 15 minutes long or so uh, in several parts. Um, there are a few things that you need if you want to follow this tutorial. Uh, first, and this is optional, um, I use a program called Pure Ref. I'll leave a li link in the description. Uh, all it does is you drop an image in here and you can move it around and scale it and it'll stay on top no matter what. Uh, other than that, I use the uh, Radeon Pro Renderer Engine. I mean, it doesn't matter, you can use cycles if you want, but uh, in my opinion, this is a little better. It shows the shadows better. And I also use a, a, an add-on called Cube Blocker that uh, I'll leave in a, a link in the description as well. Okay, so let's begin. Let's go to File, New, General. I'm not gonna save anything. Okay, so first let's go, let's go into edit mode first with the object selected and then let's go into the viewport shading and if you're on studio go to matte cap right here and then click on this uh, sphere and choose one of the shadings that is probably better than the one that you have now. I mean something that you would like that would show the shadows better okay so uh, let's scale this let's go back into object mode by pressing tab let's scale this uh, the whole thing now let's scale it on the y axis s y then s x so we want a rectangle uh, the bottom part of the house since we're gonna take the we're gonna put a loop right here in the middle and we're gonna raise it up so we want just this part right here this cube okay so maybe raise it a little bit S Z okay so I think that's just about right now Let's press 1 on the keypad to make sure we're in the front view. So this is a side view. I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. So R, Z, 90. Let's press 1 on the keypad again. So we have a front view that's wider than the side view. Okay, let's go on the side and, uh, and go into edit mode. And then control R and let's add a loop left click uh, right click and then press 2 on the keyboard and to go into edge select select this top edge and then press uh, G Z to grab it on the Z axis and as you see the pitch of the house is not very high uh, just about there I think that looks okay okay press 3 on the keyboard now to go into the uh, face select select these two top faces and I'm gonna raise the roof and as you see here uh, you got the eaves of the roof and the roof itself the shingles that are sitting on top of the, the eaves and you see the eaves here are actually on the front of the house are longer than on the side so let's just extrude it so E right about there let's select these two faces again and then press control plus on the keypad and select uh, these other edges as well let's press E and then S okay now let's bring this out so I'm gonna select both of them with shift and left click and then I'm gonna press 3 and uh, view uh, side view and then press E and if you get this press ctrl Z to undo 
and go up here and uh, sh choose uh, individual origins then E again okay and stay on the side view and move it with shift uh, and the middle mouse and now press G Z and bring it down make it as straight as you can possible and we have the front uh, and the back of the house with longer eaves okay let's select uh, press 2 on the keyboard and select uh, this um, edges this edges in the front and the back and I'm gonna delete them because I don't need them so I'm gonna press X and then dissolve edges so now we have the roof and the house the bases okay I'm gonna delete this as well right here on the house so I'm going to select that with, uh, select them with shift and left click and then press X and dissolve edges as well okay so as you see here now the shingles are sticking out a little bit um, let's just select this two top uh, go, press 3 on the keyboard and select these two top faces with shift left click and um, let's press E S and then E again okay and now we got the shingles okay so I think we got kind of the same thing that they have here in this uh, drawing alright uh, I think we can add the front windows now and as you see in the, pi in the picture the windows are sitting uh, under the eaves right here and let's see the distance between the window and this wall is just about the same as the distance between the the other uh, I mean the two windows <clears throat> okay so I think I'm gonna do this with the boolean uh, first let's go into front view by pressing one on the keypad now let's go back into uh, object mode by pressing tab and with shift A, go to Q blocker right here and add a plain cube. Just like that. I think maybe that should do it. Okay, I don't think I made it thick enough. So I'm gonna press tab, go into edit mode, press 3 on the keyboard to face select, select this face then press shift space G and I'm gonna bring this out and let's go back into uh, uh, the front view by pressing one on the key keypad and uh, I'm sorry let's press L and select the whole thing with your mouse over press one on the keypad and let's bring this up let's bring it out towards the middle kind of have to calculate because the other window sits uh, the distance between the window and the wall would have to be close enough uh, as the distance in the middle so I think that's good enough right there all right uh, so now let's uh, bring this in just a little bit okay so now let's go um, duplicate this uh, first let's go into object mode by pressing tab and then shift D uh, and then right click and then shift space G and let's drag it out here let's press 1 to be in uh, front view on the keypad I think I'm gonna select this one sh and shift select the other one and bring them up just a little bit Yeah, I think that's close enough because you have to think about the windows on the bottom you have to have enough space although I can always bring this down but uh, yeah let's uh with this two selected let's press uh, control J and join them and now they're one object and now let's select the house let's go up here in the wrench and add a boolean 
and from the boolean let's select this eyedropper and select one of the windows it doesn't matter and then uh, let's apply it and then click on one of the windows and delete them and now we should have the uh, holes for the windows okay now let's go into edit mode by pressing uh, selecting the house and pressing tab and let's just select this with shift click and uh, let's press I to inset uh, we're gonna just make the frame for the windows okay and let's subdivide them uh, just right click and subdivide okay now press 2 on the keyboard to go into edge mode and select this four edges right here one two three four and press x and dissolve edges we don't need them so i'm just gonna press um, shift and select these two edges right in the middle and then press ctrl b and um, bevel this uh, just about the same size as the frame of the windows Okay, so with these two selected, now select all these, I'm sorry, press 3 on the keyboard and go into face select and select all the edges all around. Of course you hold, hold shift while doing this. Okay, so once you have all of them selected, uh, just press E to extrude them a little bit, but not all the way out like there's just a, inside the The previous holes that we did Just like that Okay, so we have the windows made I Think we need to make the house taller um, Let's go and select this on the bottom and drag it down a little bit, maybe more. Mm, that's too much. We'll see. I mean, we'll make the windows and we'll uh, on the bottom, and we'll see from there. So, guys, this is uh, the end of part one. I think that's quite a bit of information taken. Uh, and thank you guys for watching and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.